brothers and sisters in Christ, um, there was a time not too long ago where I realized that one of my lecturers were providing course, uh, specific parts of our course materials in uh, two languages, in English and in Malay. And I began to be a little bit suspicious about it. I was like, mm, this is odd. Maybe this is something that's coming out for our exams. And sure enough, that's, that was what came out for the exam. And when I saw the exam paper, I began thinking to myself, oh, next time, if I pay attention to only the bilingual parts of it, I will be able to score better. And um, uh, disclaimer, I never got to take another class of that lecturers. But in that moment, in just that split moment, I realized that, um, as I look back, I realized that I was beginning to be diverted from my true purpose of studying. That I was looking to score and not to just and not just to gain knowledge. And we know that that's not how studies are. That's not the purpose of studying, right? Yeah, and if we look at today's gospel, we see that no signs will be given to this generation. That's what Jesus tells us. And maybe this is the reason. Because if we were to continuously look for signs, we would be distracted from the true purpose of what we are called to do. And um, if we continue looking for signs, signs that will pass, signs that will not stay, we will spend a lot more time looking for more signs. And that will definitely divert distract us from what God is trying to tell us in the specific moment. You know, uh, we have this illusion, like we think that the more we know, the more, the more we know, the more information we have, the more secure we are. But in reality, if we really look at it, we will see that the more information we have, the more there is for us to worry about because there are more things to be seen too. And if we allow ourselves to just um, go down that rabbit hole, uh, the list of things that we are going to be worried about will be endless. And my brothers and sisters, here, in, here is an invitation to all of you that instead of looking for signs of what we should do, how we should do things, maybe we should turn to Jesus. Jesus is our rock, He is our refuge, and He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And if we continuously look at Him, we will be filled with Him, with His gaze, with His radiance, and we will be able to respond to what He has called us to. We will not in any moment be distracted from anything that is not of His plan for us. And um, I think if we have been on this journey, we would know that sometimes if we are, resp uh, if we are just going to lean into Jesus, uh, the journey is not um, the easiest, it's not a bit of roses, uh, it's, it can be very challenging. And sometimes that can be very discouraging as well. But we find comfort in today's first reading where we see that um, it says like we consider it all joy for when we encounter trials for testing our faith produces perseverance and let that perseverance be perfect. So let Jesus be our rock and refuge during this time. Let him be the place that we always seek when we are looking for answers, when we are looking for direction, and at times where we feel that Jesus is quiet, that He is not responding to us, where things are really hard, maybe He's asking us to do hard things, maybe count it all joy. My brothers and sisters, I pray that you have a great day and great week ahead of leaning into Jesus more than ever this week. God bless.